Characteristics of Good Governance Participation One of the key element of good governance is citizen participation. Everyone should have a voice in decision-making, either directly or through legitimate intermediate institutions that represent their interests. It is important to point out that representative democracy does not necessarily mean that the concerns of the most vulnerable in society would be taken into consideration in decision-making. Rule of Law Legal frameworks should be fair and enforced impartially, particularly the laws on human rights. It is a hallmark of political maturity but also a requisite for growth and poverty reduction, for there are irreducible minimum levels of governance needed for large-scale investment to occur and for social programs to be supported. Transparency a principle of allowing those affected by administrative decisions to know about the resulting facts and figures e.g., the city budget, and about the process that resulted in those decisions. This is also means that all informations are freely available and directly accessible to those who will be affected by such decisions and their enforcement that are provided in easily understandable forms and medias. Responsiveness this requires that institutions and processes try to serve all stakeholders within a reasonable time frame. It has a basic necessity of the administration which can motivate the interrelationships between administration and people. Consensus orientation Good governance requires mediation of the different interests in society to reach a broad consensus in society on what is in the best interest of the whole community and how this can be achieved and the long-term perspective on what is needed for sustainable human development and how to achieve the goals of such development, that result from the understanding of the historical, cultural and social contexts of a given society or community. Equity and inclusiveness Good governance should address the issues concerning justice and equity. The growth of society should be inclusive and equitable most especially to the vulnerable and marginalized should share the fruits of the development and equal opportunities to improve and maintain their well-being. Effectiveness and efficiency The developmental needs of the society must be achieved by the optimum utilization of the resources at their disposal. The concept of efficiency in the context of good governance also covers the sustainable use of natural resources and the protection of the environment. Accountability This the most important characteristics of good governance. This depends on how accountable governmental as well as private sectors and civil society organization to their people and its institutional stakeholders. Both public and private institutions along with civil society organizations must be accountable to the public and to their institutional stakeholders. Accountability cannot be enforced without transparency and the rule of law.